Scotty, how's it going, man? Connor Holt here with Wilson Motor. Just want to put a voice to the face because you see my face on Facebook already. You know who I am. And this right here is the 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee L that you inquired about there through Facebook. And I just want to do a little walk around video. First, I do want to apologize. I told you I was going to do this video this morning. It's now the afternoon and you haven't got it yet. So you're going to get it here shortly. But I was working with some customers here on the lot that came in and now they are gone. I'm available to work with you. So here we go. Let's flip this around, do this walk around video and get going. Um, it's a little bit dirty on the outside because we have the snow. As you can see, we have snow all over the cars, snow on top of the Jeep there. And also, I don't think this car actually ever went through detail, which is one of the reasons why we look at that stain. And so um, I noticed as I was in my own little walk around here, there are some crumbs in there. It does need to be vacuumed and I will get that vacuumed out here for you so you can see that. So let's kind of get off, this, off the bat here, start on the front. One of the things I really like is this car is black on black on black. Why I can tell you that is one is you have your Jeep is blacked out here. Your grill is blacked out here. You have the black paint and then your wheels right here are all blacked out. Here's your Amy tire tread here on the wheels. But you have the wheel, the black Jeep wheels, so they're pretty cool. I'm a big fan of those. Um, here on the front side, something to look at is you're gonna have these bright LED lights. You're gonna be able to see everything. You'll be driving like a king. Everyone else in front of you is gonna be really upset. They're gonna be the, the peons and they're gonna be hating you, but you're gonna see everything. It's gonna be great. Um, you're gonna also have your camera system up here. This is gonna be for the lane keeping the lane keeping system as well as the adaptive cruise control and i'll show you how to work those here in a little bit too the grand cherokee on the side one thing i really like here is you got the american flag backwards there it's kind of cool on your mirrors you're going to have this little triangle right there that's going to uh, light up bright orange for the blind spot uh, protection that's what i'm looking for here in the back you're going to have these four parking sensors right here which are going to be uh, they get a little bit louder as you get closer to things in the back. They will also get to a steady beat until it turns on the automatic uh, brakes so you don't hit anything. It'll, it'll stop you from getting into anything. Then you also have your spare tire underneath here, as you can see right there, which is not black on black. That's nice silver, so that's a good donut. Everyone's going to see you. This is the little bit of damage that your sister pointed out right here. It's just in the plastic, and this is just at the cover of the hitch. And so if you took this off, you'd have no idea it was there. And Back here, I'll open this up. You have an automatic lift gate. Here's your backup camera. This is where the first part, I tell you why it's not, it hasn't been detailed. As you can see, there's a lot of crumbs back here and I need to have that detailed for you. So I think that this stain right here, I've got one right there, one right there, and possibly one right here, could totally come out because my detailer did not detail this. Um, he's usually pretty good at getting those stains out. So I will have him run out and get a shampoo done on this and see if we can get those stains out for you. Now, one thing that's really cool about this back here is these are not automatic, but you can drop them down. You hit that, it drops right down. And if you pull it a little bit harder, you can drop the seat all the way down to the bottom and have a good cargo area. So if you don't have anybody that needs to be in the back, you've got a big, large cargo area. Something that's cool back here in the back too is these guys in the back seat, they're going to have a USB-C and a USB for charging on both sides. So they can be back here with... Their iPads and whatever other sort of gaming systems in the backseat as you're going on your trip to California to go to the beach and they'll be happy and quiet back here in the back just playing while you're driving up in the front. Kind of nice, right? <laughs> as well as you're going to have this right here. You have a 12 volt charger right here so you guys can have the coolest car at the next year's uh, trunk or treat is what I'm looking for. So you can have a really cool light up system back there and whatnot. Here on the left side is where your gas is going to be. This is a capless tank. You're going to just stick it right in you pull it back out and that thing blocks it so that way you don't have to worry about having the cap one of my favorite features i love that the second row is a row it is not captain's chairs so as you can see we have the three seats right here if you don't have anybody in the middle seat you can drop this guy down here for cup holders and then to get into the back seat once again like i said it's not detailed so don't worry about all those crumbs i will get those all out and detailed for you but these are the back seats here for you so you can see they're two two separate seats only two, no more, but you got a lot of space back here. I feel like compared to like the Toyota Highlander, you can also move these seats forward and backwards. So now that I just locked it back in place, um, you are technically scooted forward. If you need to scoot it back more, you have the bar right down here just to scoot that back. Or you can scoot it forward so those in the back can have a little more, a little more room. Um, we're going to have two pockets that are mesh pockets right here in the back of these, these seats, driver and passenger seat. You're going to have an option that these guys in the back can control their heat here too. They can go up and down. And the fan can go up and down too for back here and this little guy right here. And then you're going to have a 110 outlet right there. And then you're going to have the USB 
and two USB-Cs as well for charging. So you got a total of four of those here in the back two rows. And these windows are not automatic. I was hoping they were going to be, but they're not going to. But look, they can even unlock and lock the doors back here. That's crazy. I don't think I'd want to give my kid that power. <laughs> I'm sure there's a way to turn that off, but who knows? Then up here in the front, this is an automatic seat right here. So you can see that and you have a bunch of controller here for both the leaning back, going forward and backwards, going up and down, and then your lumbar adjustment as well. We're gonna have mirror controls, your window controls. The front two are automatic. And the back ones are not automatic either up here. And then you'll have the door locks and the window locks right there. These are the headlight controls. This is your parking brake. This is gonna be a con um, the headlight or the interior light controls and then the brightness of the cluster and lights right here. And then as you can see, we have a total it's a total digital display here, which is kind of cool. We've got 26,961 miles on there. It's going to show right now our RPMs on the left and our speed on the right. Right now we have the average of miles per gallon right here, which is going down because I have it turned on and it's been going down since I've turned the vehicle on. But we can change all this information here with these controls right here. So you've got five different pages on the vehicle info. But as you can see up there, the top right or the top left, right where it says vehicle info, you've actually got eight right uh, side six different pages there of different things you can look at and each of those have different options of how you can change it to look with the, the right and left of what you want on those pages so kind of cool then you're going to have your gas level on this side you have your engine temperature here your seat belt sign that you can see what you're going to be what, what gear you're in up here on top right now it's showing you the the lane keeping system there as well then if you do this push that button it's going to show you all of your different options you can change that too so it's kind of cool um just all the different things that this vehicle will do right there in front of you while you're driving the vehicle you can kind of play with all the different information about the vehicle now right here we're going to have our blinkers and we're going to have our brights as well you're going to have the wipers for the front and rear on this side this is going to be your cruise control and these are the adaptive cruise control settings right here of how many car lanes in front of you there and then we're going to have some buttons up on top this is going to turn off that auto start and stop feature this is your lane keeping assist feature right there then you're going to have your traction control you're going to have your parking sensors off if you don't want those on and this is your sport mode to go have those rpms go faster and drive the vehicle a little faster hazard lights there as well this is a whole touch screen right here and you can do a lot of information with that go out to the apps and you can change these things down into here and see i'll tell you which one's your favorite um we do have heated seats here. You have heated seats for both the driver and passenger and a heated steering wheel, and it's nice and warm. My hands are cold because of this video, and it's awesome. Um, you can mute the, the audio, which the audio is currently muted, so that way you can keep the screen on. If you want the screen off, you can just push this button, and it will turn the screen off, and if you touch the screen, it just comes right back on. Then you're going to have all of your climate controls right here. This is tuning and volume. This is how you're going to get into gear with this little gear shifter right here. Drive and park. And then if you hit this guy, it's going to show you your charging. You've got another USB-C and a USB. You've got two of those for up here. So we have a total of six now in the vehicle. We have another 12-volt charger, which is the second one. You have the aux cord. You have a wireless charger right here as well. you got the cup holders. you got a center console. That's what our center console looks like. Over here we have our glove box with the manual so if you have additional questions you can always go back to that this is where your trunk button is then you have lights inside the vehicle you have an sos option and you have assist from jeep i think that's what assist is for sunglass holder there this is what our key looks like so it's a brand new key this year with this you get the unlock lock remote start tailgate and then your alarm and that's about everything from what i can see oh let me throw it into reverse so i can show you how awesome this is Look how clear this screen is. I love it. And it does show you the, as you're turning the wheel, it shows you where the vehicle's gonna go. So you have the predictive lines on that. And then you can see right here, it's gonna show you your sensors. So if you're going, getting too close to anything, you're gonna just light up as it's beeping at you. So that is the vehicle. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to let me know. Reach out to me. You have my number, you have my Facebook, you have all that information. If I can get you pictures of anything, let me know and we'll kind of go from there. And hopefully we'll see you in a couple days to come take it for a test drive yourself. Thanks, man.